India's election commission will be announcing the dates for the 2024 general elections at 3 p.m. on Saturday. That's tomorrow. And with that, the model code of conduct will come into force from the time the dates are announced. Now, this will also mark the official end of the second term of the Narendra Modi government. The hectic run-up to the polls have seen face-off between the ruling NDA against the opposition India Alliance, with both sides trying to bolster their alliances. The run-up has already seen several controversies over distribution of tickets to candidates, even as candidates for several seats remain unannounced. Besides the general elections, the Election Commission is set to announce elections for state assemblies in Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Arunachal Pradesh and lastly Sikkim. The model code of conduct will come into force to ensure free and fair elections. This effectively means that India's election commission will create a level playing field for all parties and stakeholders involved in the election process. The government or its ministers will be prohibited from announcing any financial grants or policy announcements, not even stone laying ceremonies for projects. No appointments in government or public undertakings, no use of discretionary funds, no government funded ads talking about the achievements of the government, no use of government transport for campaigning, access to all political parties to hold rallies at public places and strict prohibition against use of religious symbols or slogans while campaigning. Several opinion polls in the run-up to the elections back Prime Minister Modi for a third term. While he has been targeting demographies like women, youth, poor and the farmers, his opponents have been questioning his record on unemployment and rising prices of essential commodities. At close to a billion voters, India is the world's largest democracy, bigger than Europe and North America put together. It's now the fourth largest economy in the world and aspires to get into the top three soon enough. India's lower house Lok Sabha has 543 seats, including seats reserved for historically underrepresented scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.